Hello everybody, this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how you can play around with some of these fonts and you can um, adjust some of the placements of where you want them to go. And what I'm talking about is um, I got a request from some one of our um, members from our Facebook group. Um, which if you're not a part of, um, I have a Facebook group called um, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. It's a really cool group. Um, a lot of people are very supportive. A lot of a lot of them also use the um, the Brother SC hundred SC nineteen hundred. And one of the questions that um, she had was, "Can you arch the letters?" Right. So I said, "Okay, yeah. Let me do a quick video because it's kind of easier to show the video than to actually try to um, type it out and explain it." So um, let me show you guys what you can do with the font. So as you can see, I have the embroidery machine on. I have my bedding on. Um, I'm not going to use any of my, um, my designs on my USB. I'm strictly going to be playing around with the lettering that comes with the SC1900. And let me show you some of the things that you can do with your fonts, okay, that come preloaded with your machine. Um, I'm going to click on here. And as you can see, there are, this is one of two, okay? And I'm going to make this a little bit larger because in this video, all I'm going to do is focus on this so that you guys can become familiar with using um, the stuff that you have on your machine. So as you can see right here, you have a number one. That means that this section has two sections and you're in number one of two. The way you move back and forth between the sections is to click on these arrows right here. See, if I click here, here's two of two, and these are some more letters that come with the um, with the software. So I'm going to scroll back, and what I'm going to do um, for this is I'm going to pick this font because it's, it's pretty cool, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start selecting. Now, I want to show you guys something here while, um, while we're here. Um, it's not just the letters. If I want you guys to see that as... Right here it says one of four, which means there's four screens of lettering, okay? You, you start with all the capitals, you scroll, and then you have the lowercase letters, okay? Now let's say that you want to have some type of numbers or symbols. You can click here, and this is where you get all of your numbers, okay? Then you can click here, and here is where you have... Um, some letters, you know, that have um, special, you know, accents on them. You know, like I know in Spanish, sometimes we use a little accent in there. So let me see. Let's go. There's like four of them. I've never really been here myself, actually. And look, you know, I know in, in, in Spanish, we have the N with the little tail on the top. So there goes that one. There goes the little small one with the tail. I know we use that. You know, so this is um, pretty cool. So that means you can actually use some of the fonts that come with the machine. If you're pretty happy with these with these fonts, you can use the fonts that come with the machine. It's, it's not a, a big deal. So I'm going to go right back to the letter A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, my, my son's name. My son's name is Carl. And it's C-A... And as you can see, as soon as you start typing, if you look over here, you see it automatically has large. You have large, medium, and small. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick medium, okay? And um, let me see. i got to pick the letter R. Here goes R. Um, let me go back for the letter L. And here's L, okay? Now I'm going to hit set. And, you know, it shows me right here. This is a 5 by 7 If I want, I would click here. And this is a 4 by 4 hoop, okay? So, you know, I'm just going to go through here and, and show you guys. But I'm going to leave it at the 5 by 7 I'm going to hit set. Now, I want you guys to see something right here. And I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so you guys can really see what I am talking about. Let me lift this little camera a little bit over here so that way it's a little easier for you guys, okay? Um, as you can see, this has a red 
square around the lettering okay so that kind of tells you like what is gonna you know what the spacing is this is a button to move so that if you click this what it does is it moves it like where you know you click on that it gives you this little space and then what you can do is you can click on this and I don't know if you see but notice how it goes up and down okay now there's another way that you can move this if you don't want to use this button just click on this and drag it see so it's a little sensitive so you know you can do that okay now another thing is here let's click on size you can make this bigger or smaller or you can look at the spacing okay so like let's say I just want this to spread out a little more notice how this changes okay and let's say I want to squish it back in See, notice how this changes. Let me just do it from here so you can see. See, this is going out, this is going in, and this is for, you know, you look at the arrow. See how it points in? That means it'll make it smaller or I can make it wider. Okay, see how that, that works? Pretty cool, huh? So um, I'm going to hit OK. So now I already showed you move. I already showed you size. Rotate. Rotate is where you want to do like 90 degree angle or... Or 10 degree seat right here and if you click on that and I'm gonna go from here see I'm hitting 90 degree that's a 90 degree 90 90 and then 10 means it just does it a little bit okay so I'm gonna go 90 oh boy I messed that up didn't I <laughs> okay let me go back to the yeah, and I'm hitting the 10 there you go I've got it back to straight okay um, and then here of course you know this is where you pick your color how do you want it to be? I'll, I'll pick red. I like red. I don't know why. I just like red. Okay. Now, um, some people, somebody was asking me, this is the fun part. This is where somebody asked me and said, hey, how do you, um, can you arch it, right? So if you click on font edit, right, right here, you get into this screen, all right? And one of the things that I do, if I wanted to arch, like let's say you wanted to like go this way, you know, like a little arch, hit array. And if you hit array, you have all the sudden all these um, options. And then when you click on one, see how it kind of like turns, okay? Or you can make it straight, or you can make it come out like this, you know, Carl going this way, or you can do it this way, or make it in. But you know, this is where you would do the the array portion. Okay, so this is this is a pretty um, cool way to you know um, make your design a little you know fancier and stuff like that. So there's your array. So um, and then here's your multicolor. And I guess that's if you want to select a certain. I, if you if you notice, I click multicolor. This is now little boxes, so I can take this and I can make this into, uh, this is red. I'm going to pick the A. And I'm going to change the color to the A. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. I haven't done this in a while. Here you go. See how this is pink and this is, okay, let's do this again. So this letter C, I'm doing um pink um let's see there you go you hit right here it goes to the next letter i'm sorry i got my hand on the way okay so here i'm gonna leave that i want to i want the r another color you click here on the 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 plus sign now you got the r i'm gonna do that one in purple then i'm gonna click here again and then i'm gonna do this one in black Okay, then I'm going to hit OK, and then right here, if you want to see what the design actually going to look like, you click on this little TV right here, and look, there you go, multicolor. Isn't that cool? Ain't that cool? So, it's just messing around with the fonts um, section, and um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, anyway, someone was asking, how do you arch it? This is arching, okay? So, what you would do is you would hit Font Edit. And you would hit array and you know that's how you would do that if you want all the colors to come up in different colors hit multicolor okay and then it will allow you to pick one color at a time if you don't hit multicolor then what will happen is when you select the color the whole word will be one color okay so anyway um 
guys, this was just a quick, quick video. You know, I love doing the short videos and stuff. I like to get just straight to the point. So if you guys like my channel, please subscribe. Um, I like to focus a lot on the Brother SE 1900 because I know there's not a lot of videos out there on this machine. This is a really neat machine. I love it. I've had it now for two years. Um, and it has been, it's my very first embroidery machine. It has been my baby. Um, you know, and I just love it. I really do. I think it's a great, great beginner machine. And so, so you know, um, I have a whole bunch of videos on how to use it, the different um, foots and the functions and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, like I said, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. And, you know, if you um, need support on how to work on this machine, I highly recommend that on Facebook, we have a Facebook group that's called um, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. And I also go live every Friday at 8 o'clock. So hope you guys like this video and have fun with your machines. Bye.